Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. We are trying to find the milkman. I think it's named Mr. Barlow or something for um, Miss Tompkins. Apparently he's gone missing, so he should be back by now. A lot of people seem to go missing in this game. Some of you guys have mentioned that. It does seem like that's the case. The question is, is it something sinister or are they just leaving town for a bit? Who knows? Maybe we go into the village and ask if anyone knows where this dude is. That's probably the best place to start, I would imagine. We also need to, um... We need to get the flowers, and that's tied in, I think, isn't it, for Mrs. DePlancy. So we can get one of her pastries to give to Lord Panswick, and so on and so forth. So, let's see if anyone knows anything about the milkman. Good day. We don't even know where he lives. Mr. Ambrose. Oh, Ambrose, that was it. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? He's here every market day. Except this one. Yep. Aye. I haven't seen him today. Suspicious. Any idea where he might be? Not in the slightest. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. Yeah, thanks for your time and for being completely useless in helping us out with our questions. Time for a juicy mutton pie? Not really, no. Not unless it helps us with Mr. Ambrose. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? Aye, I do. Why'd you ask? Isn't he normally here at the market? Aye, he's normally two pies in by now. Two pies? I don't know where he is. Hmm. I'm sure someone around here must know where he is. Yeah, that's Goodbye. what I'm thinking. Let me know if you get hungry now, lass. Will do. Okay, apple seller. Good day. Care to buy some apples? Oh. The, uh, the lady of the store is gone. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? Eddie? Aye. Eddie Ambrose. Have okay. you seen him today? No. Well, maybe his milk's gone off. I hope so. Might mean some of his customers have some spare coin for me veggies. Ah. Ha! Bye. Hilarious. You know where I am. Okay, that, that seemed just a bit creepy. <laughs> is it just me? <laughs> the way he said that just seemed really odd. No, no one there. Mr. Long mustn't be in. Seems like knocking on doors doesn't really yield too many results in this game. Occasionally someone will answer, but it seems uh, quite few and far between. Someone in the inn's got to know where he is, right? Maybe Stanley, maybe Leonard Shoulder. Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Bearman. Do you know about Mr. Ambrose? Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? Aye, yeah, I, I know the man. Do you have any idea where he might be? No, lass. Why? No matter. Thank you for your time. Hmm. Uh, Someone's got to forward to tomorrow. Good, good. You you keep looking forward to that. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? Aye, a good man. Have you seen him today? Come to think of it, no. Goodbye. See you soon. I hmm. can't think of anything else to talk about right now. This is rather suspicious, isn't it? No one... Everyone knows him. Everyone seems to think he's a really nice guy, but nobody knows where he is. So he's definitely gone in mysterious circumstances without saying anything to anybody. Which does make me rather suspicious. Who's this? Good day. M Hello there. Hello there. Uh, oh, someone new. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ralph. All right, Ralph. you around before. I'm just visiting. Likewise. So ask about himself. What brings you to the market today? I purchased a Scotch egg for me tea. Lovely. You want a bite? No, thank you. No, you're good, man. <laughs> you're good. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? I do, yes. Have you any idea where he might be? He is usually here by now. So we've heard. So I heard. <laughs> there we go. He normally arrives by the road to the east of Bewley. Ah. Thank you. So, maybe we are going to go out of town finally. Help with excavation. I'm looking for some help with an excavation tomorrow. Might you be interested? Sorry, miss. I've already got my own job. Enjoy your scotch egg. I will. Yeah, and uh, maybe don't ask people to share it. It's a little bit weird, to be honest. Especially if you've already eaten it. Oh, hang on. Flashback? Yes. There we are. Your shells are looking much more interesting now. I pestered mother for years to let me bring some of your treasures here. I think she's worried that I'd want to follow in your path. Yeah, I think that the she's uh most of your discoveries away. I think the mum knew. I beg her to bring me to visit you, you know. I shouldn't worry you with all that. Do you know that I have a story for each of these pots? Well, I don't know if they're all true, but they are my memories. Even though I was so young, I still remember our adventures together. Would you like me to share my memories of them? 
Yeah. Well, I'm going to, whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the mum had a pretty good idea of what happened to the dad, and she was trying to protect Thomasina from following down the same path and ending up with something similar happening. I, that, that's my guess, anyway. Look at all this stuff. You were incredibly excited about this one. I hadn't gone on an expedition with you yet. You were so happy about it, showing it to Mother and I. You didn't stop talking about it for hours. I this thought, is pretty cool. How can Daddy be so excited over some old broken pottery? But it wasn't long until I understood. Yeah, it's pretty cool that we're getting a little bit of backstory. More of um, Thomasina's past and stuff. Hmm. I think you brought this one back from a trip abroad. I would have loved to go with you, but Mother didn't want me to. I remember you being so proud of it. It looks ancient. Mm, probably is. We found this one together in that mucky old barrow near Avebury. I think it was the second time you'd taken me on a dig with you. I remember you bringing it up to your face to look inside and shrieking in horror. There's a bloody rat in there! <laughs> I screamed. <laughs> this is a nice little sequence, actually. So there's a large urn and a tiny urn. And then there's obviously this urn here, which I think is something to do with Hobbs Barrow, isn't it? From what we learned Mother so far. Mother was so angry when you brought this one home, wasn't she? William, that simply will not do. It's taking up all the space on the mantelpiece. <laughs> Once you moved it to your study, I remember creeping in to take a peek at it. The tiny one? This is from the first dig I remember you taking me on. The excavation of West Kennet Long Barrow. <laughs> I found it wedged behind a stone as you ate your sandwich. You said, now there's a tiny urn for a tiny girl. I almost forgot. While I was searching for your pots in the shed, I found one of your manuscripts. I thought Mother had burnt all your notebooks, but she missed one. Uh -oh. It was an account of barrows across the east of England. I managed to read it all before Mother took it away. Daddy, it was fascinating. I've decided that is what I want to do with my life. I'm going to travel the country, excavating and documenting my own finds. Well, as soon as I'm old enough to escape mother, that is. <laughs> when you're feeling better, we can go out on expeditions together again, just like we used to. I promise you'll get better, Daddy. I'll do whatever it takes to make it so. Mm, there we go. So is it, is it almost like fate that she was meant to come here? To where all this happened it's, it's certainly seeming a little bit like that isn't it like like it was almost like she found the the notebook manuscript thing on purpose because she had to come here and uncover what happened there's something ahead on the road oh oh we can look we're going nice for the first time in the game we're able to go east of the town my oh god. my god what the hell is that someone tied up what the heck is going on here? <laughs> Why has he got loads of flowers on him? <laughs> I'm going to help you. That's weird. Look at all that milk down there. Oh no, the cat! Oh, is it the cat? The milk is not salvageable. No, and that looks like what's his name? The cat, doesn't it? Okay, is it the creepy cat? Yeah, looks like the creepy cat's here again. So there's the link again with the cat. Bakewell, 32 miles. Bewley really was in complete isolation before the railway line came in. Yeah, convenient place for hiding weird things. Let me free you, sir. Let's, let's get him down. What on earth has happened here? Curses! The rope is bound too tightly. I mean, we've got... can't even free his mouth. We've got the knife, so. Don't worry, sir. I'll find a way to free you. Oh, this is weird as hell. We've got the knife. Please hold still. I I'm going to cut you free. Who would have done this and why? He had been so tightly bound that I could barely cut through without hurting him further. His mouth was stuffed full of flowers of a most peculiar scent. I was dismayed at such savagery and wondered if the feral folk Father Roach had mentioned were responsible for this abhorrent act. I'm thinking no. After some considerable effort, I managed to cut him free. Wow. Are you all right? Oh, you... Who were lost in visions of... of hell. Of hell itself. Ah. The devil. I saw the devil. Who did this to you? I... don't remember. 
Oh, the terrible sights I saw. I won't forget them till my last breath. Are you Mr. Ambrose? Looks like I... it. Yes, yes, Edward Ambrose. You were to meet Miss Tompkins today. Oh, my love. Oh, my darling love. Let me take you to her. Here, take my hand. <clears throat> As we made the arduous trek to Panswick Manor, I probed Mr. Ambrose on who had done this to him. He insisted that he didn't remember anything, except for his nightmarish visions. So I have got a bit of an idea, but I'm going to let this play out first. to you were you in a fight now fret not my love i thought you'd abandoned me never thank your friend here for helping me out of a bind oh eddie literally let's get out of here my darling hang on you thieving bitch <laughs> have your guts for garters don't think she cares oh stick it where the sun don't shine you bitter old sow wow She's had enough. Uh, I, the cheek. <laughs> Here you are, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Tompkins. No, thank you for finding my poor Eddie. Oi, thank you, lass. Let's go, Eddie. I'm never setting foot on this godforsaken estate again. Good luck, you two. So, the... A hey, achievement. May they find happiness together. So obviously there was um, the cat again. What was his name? It begins with an eight. Is that Herbert the cat or something? I don't know. Anyway, the cat was there again. So there's a link with the cat. Um, the visions thing he was talking about with like the visions of hell and the devil. I'm guessing either he saw a similar thing to we did when it all went purple and we saw the goblin thing. Or there's lots of little trancy things going on in the town. Which is maybe what was going on with... Um, Arthur Tillett where he sort of seemed like he was just not present where he was just like staring into the bushes perhaps everyone is having these little trances and just like zoning out of what's going in uh, sorry what's going on so I don't know that's, that's that's what I'm thinking at the moment we'll see if that comes true but we've got the flowers so we can go to Mrs. DePlancy now and sort out the grave then we should be able to get the the pudding or the cake or whatever it is um which should then let us go back to Lord Panswick and hire the workers. So things are coming together. That was uh, very odd, wasn't it? That little scene there. I have something for you. You found them. We did. Oh, you dear child. You won't believe what we saw. Let's take them straight to Albert. You'll come with me, won't you? Yeah. Of course, Mrs. De Plancy. Why not? I like this piece of music, it's really good. You know, the things I miss most about him are the things that used to annoy me. <laughs> the click of his jaw as he chewed his sandwiches, weaving his tools all around the house. The way he'd never back down from an argument. He's just quiet at home now. Silence. The funny thing is, that's what he always craved. Peace and quiet. He were a good man, our Albert. Sounds like he was. I'm so sorry. Do you fear death, pet? Oh, we get a choice here. It's the part in between that concerns me the most. Do we fear death? I, I don't feel like Thomasina does, necessarily. Not at all. I dare say I won't be around to know it's happened. But what of heaven and hell? Life is for living, not for worrying about what comes after. Albert didn't fear death either. You're both braver than I am. It's not bravery. It's just trying to make the most of what we have in the present. Yeah. One can neither live in the future nor the past. Very true. I fear it, but my faith keeps me going. I know I'll meet him again in heaven. Take that thought forward, Mrs. De Plancy. Remember it. One day you will be reunited. Thank you. Those flowers look beautiful. They do. Albert will be smiling down on us. Pet, 
I left me basket inside the church. You'll find some big well puddings in there. Oh, they're in there all you along. Could have them. Oh, you I insist. We could have just stolen them. <laughs> You've brought an ounce of happiness into my day, dear. It's only just that I return some. Thank you, Mrs. De Plancy. To be truthful with you, I was saving him for myself. I shouldn't be so selfish. Lord forgive me. You're nothing of the sort. I'll stay here with Albert a bit longer. You go back to your dear pit. Lord be with you. And you, Mrs. De Plancy. Yeah, I feel like stealing from an old lady is more of a Guybrush Threepwood move than uh, Thomas Seaman and Bateman one, anyway. Um, but yeah, very, very, um, very true words spoken there by Mrs. De Plancy. There's lots of little quirks and things about the people around us that, uh, that you know, annoy us and are seen as negatives. But actually, if they weren't there anymore, I think you would actually say that they'd been appreciated all along. So that's my little bit of wisdom for the day. Um, you know, it's, it's those little things as well that we perhaps don't like, which make the people that we care about, right? So maybe they're not negatives after all, is what I'm trying to say. It's all about perspective. Here they are. And we've got the Bakewell puddings, which means we can now go back to Lord Panswick and hopefully hire the crew but i tell you what guys we're out of time so we'll do that in the next one so as always thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcades games wayne nate terminally nerdy paul F phantom fellows lyle barry aldrich hobo numinous coumadin and paul leone and i'll see you next time